So as you guys know, I am a terrible cook, absolutely terrible cook, but I just got this new sweet oven. It's Easter tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and do some truck camping and I'm going to attempt to cook some carrot cake. So we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy to the test. As you can see in the back, I already made a little spot for it to sit. Pretty cool because it's actually got a, a burner up top too. Got the little oven with two trays, little thermometer, and then control the, the heat. So it's got some handles on the side. So stay tuned guys, as we try out this new Camp Chef oven. You ain't go for a car trip, Lola. You ain't go for a car trip. So we are heading to Walmart to get a couple more ingredients for our meal tonight. The good old carrot cake. I know Lola Pup over here is excited, so. What's up guys? We made it to this absolutely sick camping spot. Let's go ahead and get the pup out real quick. Come on, Lola. We are right on the intercoast. Forgive the wind noise. I am sorry guys, but right up underneath the bridges. So if it rains, we're still good. And here's our camping spot. I think Lola Pop's happy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a peek over here real quick. got all of our cooking supplies out. I think I am going to do most of the prep work inside of the truck camper because it is so windy outside and I don't want this wind noise to affect the quality of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that oven out and then get our ingredients ready and then we'll go ahead and preheat it. All right, so here is the bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and get on up in here with good old Lola Puff and start doing some prep work. So I added a couple of weapons to the arsenal of my kitchen and my truck camper. So when making carrot cake, you've got to have shredded carrots. So went out and bought cheese grater because we're going to grate them uh, carrots. And then I needed a whisk so I could whisk everything together. So that was just added to my kitchen. All right, so we've got all our mixing bowls laid out up here. Got all of our ingredients right there. We're going to go ahead and get mixing. I've got an old school recipe right here. We're going to start by getting some fine cut carrots. We need about a cup and a half of carrots, so. Next up, we have got one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, We've got one teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ginger, and then we just whisk her all up, guys. Get it all nice and mixed up. So now that we went ahead and got all the dry ingredients mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and get the wet ingredients mixed up. We have got half a cup of vegetable oil, got two eggs. We then have half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now that all the ingredients are in there, we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. All right, so once everything is mixed up real well, we're gonna go ahead and take all of our dry ingredients and dump those in there as well, and then continue mixing. So once you get it all mixed together and you have a nice thick batter, go ahead and take some of your carrots and evenly distribute, and then continue mixing. Now that we have the mix all 
mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and get the nice oven on up. We're gonna get everything connected to it and get it preheated so we can go ahead and get cooking. So this oven is actually just like a normal stove that you would use. It's got a little connection that screws in right onto the back. And then it just takes a one pound propane bottle that you screw onto it. And voila, we are all connected. Now, boom, so we've got our lighter. Open your oven up. We're gonna go ahead and turn this knob to ignite. And she is ignited. So we're gonna go ahead and close it up. And then we're gonna turn this knob all the way to high and let it preheat. Now it does have a little thermometer right there. So it will tell you when it gets to 350 degrees and this does need to bake right at 35 minutes. So stay tuned guys and we will have this delicious carrot cake. And guys, you already know a night of truck camping is not complete without a nice cold Mike's Hard Lemonade. Mmm, let the good times roll. My mom also thought it was a good idea to get my little guy, Steve, a friend. So she ended up getting me <laughs> this cute little rabbit. You know, something that's kind of funny about it. It actually poops jelly beans. Let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. Ah! <laughs> Thanks mom for keeping me young and buying me a little pooping bunny rabbit. Gave Steve a new friend too. I approve. So now that the oven is at 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and open her up. We're gonna take our batter and we're gonna give it about 35 minutes. So sometimes these ovens are not very accurate with their temperature reading. So we're just gonna kinda keep our eye on the cake. All right, and that carrot cake is starting to rise. Another five, maybe 10 minutes and she'll be good to eat. Like I said, guys, I am not very good at cooking. Now, I don't know if this cake came out right because it is i don't know we have got some cream cheese pillsbury icing that we're going to be putting on there now of course i buy all these utensils to cook this tonight i don't have a knife so i'm going to use a spoon to spread all the icing on spare me because my cake did not come out like i thought i was going to that's my carrot cake. Part of the problem here is that this carrot cake is super soft. So when I was spreading the icing on it, the cake was just falling apart. But we're about to try a piece, see if it tastes good. Moment of truth, guys. Look at this piece of cake. Now it might not look pretty, but holy cow, that is delicious. You guys are missing out. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and scoop up a another bite here i freaking killed it guys let me tell you what if you want one of these camp chef portable ovens i highly recommend them it did a great job baking this cake i really did not think a portable oven like that would be able to do good there's one other thing that i did add to my truck camper i was getting tired of me and lola sharing the same mattress so i went ahead and bought a six inch thick memory foam mattress and cut it in half so now we have got a massive mattress that we can both share me and the pup are gonna hit the sheets. Good night, guys, and we will see you in the morning. Good morning, gangsters. So we're up. Little pup's still sleeping, but let me tell you what, this mattress set up ooh, so much better. So much more room. Let me go ahead and show you my view. Got a pretty sick little view. Check this out, guys. Right on the water in the intercoastal. All right, so we're all packed up. Got one more thing, guys. And you already know. <laughs> Red Bull a day keeps Lola happy. Crack her open. Oh, you guys hear that? Cheers. Ooh. 